This video is going to show a new feature in both Quincy and Chimera which will be released on the 15th of March. This feature is going to make data processing really quick. As soon as you stop collecting data, you'll be able to start processing data. So ideal for dredging surveys and uh, looking at the data quickly and just basically being able to turn around the data as fast as you can. So to do this, we have a new surface that is created by Quincy. This is the dynamic surface that was uh, first introduced in, uh, in Chimera. So to, do, to create a dynamic surface in real time, uh, we use the same session setup as you would do for making a sounding grid. And rather than a sounding grid, we can select dynamic surface. We can give it a name. We can change the, the cell size, choose which system we want associated with it. Um, and also we can log our data here in the QPDs automatically linking through to the sounding grid. And the replay, I'm going to go a little bit faster than normal so I can show you. So when I press play, it then starts collecting the data and it will start recording the dynamic surface and also the QPDs. So here is our individual QPD for each sounding. It's doing a sound velocity refraction, a GNSS height solution, any of the settings for blocking data that we've uh, already assigned will take that into account. And over here we have the dynamic surface and the dynamic surface uh, can be manipulated in the navigation display like the sounding grid. So instead of say uh, this gradient color, we can also color by depth and sun illumination. So then we can see the, the features that are occurring on the seabed as we go. Uh, we can also change it to um, the standard deviation settings so you can see any errors you have. And you can also change it to the number of soundings in each cell so you can make sure that you are uh, maintaining uh, either IHO order uh, data density or just data density for a requirement. All this is done in real time. So this is, you know, we, we, we are happy with the sound velocities already being applied to this data. Uh, you know, so basically the, the beams that we are creating, uh, we're happy that we don't have to do anything else to them. Uh, as soon as this last line is finished, I'll then stop Quincy and then we'll fire up Chimera and Chimera will take in both the QPDs with the beam data and it will take in the dynamic surface as well. The dynamic surface is as called that because each cell knows which beams belong to it. So you can have multiple lines as being associated with each cell. And if you edit any cell, any beam, it will automatically update the cell. So that's uh, the Quincy uh, part of it done. Uh, we can now go to uh, Chimera. And in Chimera here, I'll just uh, I'll just shut that one down. And in Chimera, we can then go to Open Other, choose our Bresrex Quincy project here, select the folder, and it gives me the option now to either just do point cleaning or full sonar processing. Now I'm happy with my sonar processing, so I'm just going to do just point cleaning. These are the QPDs loaded in, and that's the dynamic surface loaded in. 2D and 3D and you can immediately come in here and either look at the data in the slice view or look at the data in the 3D editor. So you can immediately start processing on the data. It's as simple as that. You can also do the spline filter. So you can do spline filtering and everything else. It's really very, very, very simple. 